with KHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. Storm-free conditions continue across the islands from this weekend, taking us throughout the new week ahead of us, highlighting Kahului on Maui tomorrow, where it's really just focusing on our winds because the sunshine is expected to be a lot, rain chances the opposite. But in terms of those wind speeds, we're actually seeing a slight little uptick for some areas. More of the windier prone areas are going to be seeing a little more uh, breezier conditions. We're seeing gusts in Kahului Valley tapping into that 30 mile per hour mark. So typically 15 up to 25 mile per hour sustained winds and that's keeping our ocean conditions elevated in terms of the uh, small craft advisory for the eastern waters that now is until Wednesday at six o'clock in the evening but for all the islands we have that coastal flood statement which went into effect today and takes us in through Wednesday and it's for the afternoon hours when we're seeing the highest tides potentially of the year taking place uh, the peak of it looks to be tomorrow and Tuesday again during around three four o'clock in the afternoon so just a heads up on that in terms of our surf not much much changes three to five footers continue for the east two to four down south one to three for the west and flat to two remain up towards the north in terms of our ua and our showers we aren't seeing too much shower activity and we haven't over the uh, this weekend again for uh, today it's been mo mainly focused for Kauai and the west end of the island chain but aside from that really just the windward sides but we're not expecting too much things for tomorrow and really for the next few days ahead of us if we're just highlighting windward showers this is really what we're seeing and that's typically isolated to some scattered showers and what we tend to see is the greatest chance of showers during the overnight and the early morning hours similar to what we experienced last night a quick update on our drought conditions again from the past week we have seen drought conditions expand across the islands or at least uh, intensify for some areas in particular for Maui County where Maui the island of Maui now has some of the severe conditions which is the darker orange and the moderate conditions from Maui to the island of Molokai and as we step deeper into our summer season we are anticipating that drought conditions to only increase so we'll be keeping our eyes on that that gets updated once a week in terms of another update for our hurricane season from just yesterday into today we now have three different disturbances that we're keeping an eye on in the eastern pacific but right now it's the red which in the next seven days has a 90 percent chance of forming into something if you don't already have be sure to download the khn2 mobile app and subscribe to those push alerts as we get the information we'll be sure to send it out for uh, towards you for this evening not much taking place again maybe just a slight uptick for windward showers as we progress through the midnight hours but setting us up for a beautiful week ahead where at least for the next uh, five days into next weekend not much changes are anticipated so you can expect the windward showers to continue on the lighter side again during the overnight and the morning hours those trade winds will remain locally breezy taking us all the way through our extended forecast have a blessed week everybody sam back to you